All right. We're back with a little bit of Jacob Kaminsky pen sword style dish. Uh, through the breach, Emrakul the Aeons Torn, Blue Moon, with no moons. Um, but uh, <laughs> this is a blue red tempo control deck. Um, this is more combo y than I think the deck has ever been, even though you would think it's, it's uh, not. Um, this deck does have the ability to pivot into blowing the opponent out and killing them with Lightning Bolt, Snapcaster Mage. Um, which is a weird angle for this deck to be able to take when the main plan is to cast a card through the breach, which is five mana. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Sacrifice that creature at the beginning of the next end step. So you're looking to use this card to put into play Emrakul the Anne's Torn and attack them for 15 and just kill them. Um, also have them sacrifice six permanents, so even if they do live, they are unlikely to be able to uh, come back into that game. Um, one of the tricks with Through the Breach is you can actually use this during your opponent's end step, and this creature will sacrifice at your next end step, meaning that you can cast Through the Breach on your opponent's end step, then untap and do stuff on your turn, assuming that they have a way to deal with your Through the Breach or your Emrakul. Um, it also gives you a window where you can use Force of Negation to stop any counterplay that they might have. So if your opponent is uh, hoping to edict you and do it in a spot where you don't have the mana, you can use Force of Negation on their end step with that particular pattern. Uh, we also have Valakut Awakening here, four copies, uh, in addition to being an Enter the Battlefield tap land that we can use um, as a mana source, which we might need to get to our five mana through the breach. You can also use this uh, for the front side, Valakut Awakening, which allows you to put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards plus one. Uh, this is ex exceptionally useful sometimes with uh, getting uh, an extra copy of Embercool or extra copies of Through the Breach out. Um, uh, Archimage's Charm is just generally great in this archetype. Um, it allows you to either counterspell or draw two cards, giving your opponent a really difficult choice um, to pass the turn to you when you have three mana open. We've got Remands, we've got Ops, we've got Lightning Wolves, we've got the one that Spell Snare, so... Let's rock and rumble and try to crush some people. And oh yeah, by the way, we have the sideboard plan of Madcap Experiment into Platinum Empyrean, which should be useful in all, all sorts of aggressive matchups. Burn and Prowess especially should have uh, not the easiest time in dealing with that, hopefully. This deck is so streamlined, says Dr. Combo, the jiggiest of wiggies. Jiggy wiggy. Uh, it certainly is, my friend. Oh, I meant to play our ad in the spot in between there, but that's okay. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Gem Stud Dog. Okay, we're on the draw. I have no blue mana, so I'm going to have to ship this. I think it's just too risky to try to play our deck with no blue mana. This hand is God, oh man, the last couple of days, the hands I've been drawing have been just the, the worst I've ever seen. The worst. Yeah, this is, this is the best one we've had. Ship the Breach, ship a Charm. I have three lands and a Spell Snare. I don't know what I'm up against, so I'm going to bottom the uh, Force of Negation there. Oh, opponent did have a Companion. They have Gigantha. Okay, so they're on Tron. Okay. Uh, this game probably is going to go very poorly with the amount of resources we have. There's just, like, no way I can get 5 mana plus... Plus what I need going, but maybe. So we have Spell Snare available this turn, so let's keep that up. Uh, next turn we'll have the Remand, and then hopefully the turn after we'll have the Archmage's Charm, and then maybe we just dig to Emrakul and find uh, find the way to win. So, At minimum, this deck is a pretty quick, pretty quick games a lot of the time here. I'm really hoping they don't have Ancient Stirrings here. I want them to play a land and play Someone's Crying. Yes. Nope. Rats. I mean, if they just play no, yeah, okay. 
don't necessarily have Tron next turn, but I think they are likely to have it. Well, that's a good ish draw. I did eventually need to find a third blue source, which I have now done. Reman sort of guarantees we get another turn here. They just play the power plant. Just just right into play. Just no that that has to be a mistake, right? Like they misclicked or something. I uh, uh sure. They have another green anyway, so they put Karn Liberated into their hand. Okay. I mm, I'm confused and aroused. There it is. What if you didn't, opponent? Maybe I should have remanded that and then spell snared it next turn. Eh. No, because I, I want the remand for the um for the Karn. Alright, um so we're we're very much in a position where if we find the through the breach and one more land, we're good to go. Um Obviously not <laughs> super likely, but uh and this is a deck like um, No Fetch Storm, where you're actually trying to exploit the fact that you're not playing fetch lands. So whenever you put a card on the bottom, you should think of it as a uh, as as a, a card that you intentionally do not do not want to have back. That you you are shipping it to the bottom for the reason that you will not want it later. So like for example, there is a Force of Negation on the bottom of my deck right now. Okay, Cryptic's an okay draw. If they have the 10th mana into Ulamog, I'm screwed. But outside of specifically that, we're in an okay spot. I could just bounce one of their Tron lands here, but that means they're going to resolve the Karn, so that's no good. Because Karn will also eat lands. Because that card does that. All right, opponent. I would like to be dead quickly. Kill me. Kill me! Okay. Resolves. What are you going to do? Cycle it? What a nerd. So confused. We Sproing. Snappy Dresser. Okay, so we got Snap Remand. We got Snap Remand. And they had the 10th mana, but they didn't play an Ulamog there, so there's a good chance they don't have one. <gasps> They've relicked me. Good. God. Actually, that could be a problem. So we're not going to be able to count on Snap to give me the remand. So I just have to Archmage's Charm. The Karn. So actually, the Relic is problematic. Map. I mean, I can't stop that. The map gets them the um, Sanctum of Ugin. They get an Urza's Tower? What? Okay. I think. Worm coil. Yeah, all right. So maybe we can breach him here. Nope. Remand in hand is good, though. Valakut Awakening. 
Yeah, so we're going to play the Valakut Awakening and ship Bolt, Stone for or Bolt, Snap, Snap, maybe even the Charm. Yeah, why not? Then we remand the Karn. Hopefully I draw an untapped land. Yeah. And then we remand the Karn, and then hopefully we just kind of take it home with the Breach Mama. Good old Breach Mama. They do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if they have one more mana, they could just actually just double cast the Karn. Maybe Remand draws me into Force Negation. And then we could be okay there, but we'll see. All they need is any land. Any land will do it. No land. Just go to attack. They just want to see if they can get some mana out of me first, I guess. No dice. Shit. Not uh, not often that this is the way you lose to it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, they're gonna still have drawn after my breach. So that's more than a little unfortunate. Plus a worm coil, plus oh, if they play out more permanents, it's gonna be. Are they put you in their hand? Okay. Three mana. All right. Came here to breach my opponent and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Inferno Titan. Hello. Considering I'm mold to five, it's going pretty well. Yeah, they get to just keep Tron plus the two tokens. Um, I know one of the cards in their hand is Ugin, then they've got Gigantha and Karn. And one unknown. So we'll see how this goes. Yipe. I mean, I might as well. Try to find the um, uh, force. Okay, so now I force pitching opt when they get the Karn. And then snap force on the Ugin next turn. The, oh, now they get the Sanctum of Ugin. What, you can't play any of your threats this turn. What are you, what are you doing? I, okay, whatever. It's fine. I mean, if you want to lose, I'm not going to stop you. Yeah, I don't think they're going to lose, but like, Jesus. Really giving me all the shots in the world to take this game. Um, I don't need any more mana at this point. You just pass it here. Just dig for a uh, another breach. Play Force Negation and then just ship everything to Valakut Awakening to try to find another breach. Because uh, the next breach won't... Um... Jeez. Right, I'm, I'm going to need you to stop finding infinite lands there, opponent. It's really not okay.
<laughs> it was so just der derisive of their worm coil earlier. And it's like really, really doing me, doing me in. Oh, I, I should have let them resolve the Sanctum trigger. Because they likely would have sacked it, but now they might not. Eh, they probably still will. Get to the Ulamog, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, per so if I find the Breach, we're good. Okay. Okay. Am I winning? That's a. It's an interesting question. Uh, I might be. I might be officially winning now, Michael. Uh, not yet. So I can upkeep, bounce one of their Tron lands plus tap their team. And Karn won't take me off enough mana for Breach. Or I could just draw the Breach right now. Did not draw the Breach. Okay. Cascade morphs. Nope. Pass two opponents turn. Okay, and then next turn I could potentially Archmage's Charm into uh, Land Breach. So. Could Archmage's steal a token? Uh, sure. It doesn't help with the problems that are in their hand, but yes, that's true. Oh, no, because if they play the Karn here, I um, they can take away the mana that I needed for that one line, so we just have one shot. Oh, they play a Warm Coil. Well, oh, that's really bad for me. Although, I can steal the Death Touch Worm, block the Big Worm, and then bolt the other one. So, uh, I'm alive again. For at least one turn. <laughs> For at least one turn more, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Those comments. Gain control of Death Touch Worm via blue blue plus blue. Come to me. Wormy! The hell, hell of a game one against Tron. So you're supposed to eat the olives while drinking the martini or after? Uh, I don't... I, I mean, I think after, generally speaking, but, I mean, you could do it while you're drinking it. I, I'm i sure there's some rule about when you're supposed to do crap like that, and I just don't. They didn't play the Karn. Oh, no. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I could play the bolt and remand my own bolt to try to draw um <sighs> shoot. Right. Hey, what's up, JK Torfor? Eat the olive bite by bite as you sip the martini. I mean that's how you do it? Yeah, exactly. I mean that's I think you should do it how you want to do it, especially if you're playing, paying, um, you know, probably like $14. Just bolt myself, go to game two. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I didn't hold priority. All right, can't do it anyway. I I can't believe I lost the two worm coils that game. That was unexpected. 
opponent had a good read on how to win that game. Jeez. Okay, so we were just not going to make it anyway. Um, my sideboard kind of sucks here, huh? Um, which I guess means my main deck is supposed to be good enough. Probably supposed to have a Brades in here, or maybe the Aether Gusts, but uh, neither of them feel particularly good. Like, even the Spell Snare for Sylvan Scrying seems okay. It's probably not supposed to be, though. I don't know. I mean, I feel like everything in my main deck is fine. It just needs it not mold a five. <laughs> the length of that game, I and mean, we, we really could have had it if we just hit the combo a little faster or had their draws not been quite as fiery. Don't order it in any way, JK Torborg. Don't order your martini in any other way. Then watch what they do. If they shake it, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, I probably should cut some bolts. Oh well, too late to worry about it now. This hand is fine. Uh, martini is a stirred drink. For multiple reasons. If you want me to explain them, I will, but the martini is a stirred drink. So... The point of... D dirty could be shaken. Could be. Um, but... Um, the the point of shaking... And maybe not the point, but the, the advantage of shaking is it combines hard to mix ingredients better than stirring does. So juices and um, syrups, sugar are the more difficult to mix in things. They're more viscous, and they need more work to be fully mixed in. Additionally, um, shaking will dilute a beverage more so. So something that is meant to be very strong, as a uh, martini or Manhattan, which are basically straight spirits doctored up with a little bit of um, vermouth, uh, sweet or otherwise, uh, are, are meant to taste strong, and they're meant to be strong. So you don't want to over-dilute them. So the, the, the two main advantages, or the, 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 what you, the, the way the drinks are designed is to be stirred to get the correct drink. Um, so it really... It just doesn't make any sense to shake a martini, I guess, is the is the upshot is like you're you're just not gonna get the correct product that the person ordered. I am saying James Bond has bad taste, correct. James Bond has bad taste. Unless, and here's the kicker. So you you heard what I said, right? It, it dilutes it more. Maybe that's the point, because he's supposed to be a secret agent, and in theory he would want his wits about him. And therefore maybe he's trying to temper the amount of alcohol or how quickly he's taking it in that he might serve his role as a secret agent better. So maybe it's the author actually being a step ahead of uh, the, all the um actuallys. Do I think that's true? No, but it's possible, and that's all you need. Someone actually did the, the math. Yeah, that's the point. Maybe he's not trying to get drunk. He's just uh, trying to fit in and on the scene. That said, there are in apparently in the older novels, there's more more lists of all sorts of different cocktails that he has at different points on adventures. And uh, we just found our combo and, and won the game, I believe. Um, and apparently, he he would be very very hammered if he doesn't. James Bond just take one sip of the martini before the sex pun comes over. Uh, I mean, sometimes. No, it's horny, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> Opponents on no lands. Love it. Love it. I love that they're staying in this game, right? So do I put them out of their misery or do I just like let them hold on for a while? I'm going to let them hold on for a while because they were playing very slowly. Emrakul's a milf. Uh, she's a lot older than that and has sort of infinite spawns, so I'm going to have to go with at least Gilf. I mean, that just seems fair, right? Another productive, wonderful day of discussion here on the Mana Symbol channel. Oh, you're you're getting into a whole family. All right, when, when do we put them out of their misery? Because I feel like playing this for time is, like, actually correct. Oh, hey, Mord. How you doing, baby? I miss you, too. I, th I think playing this for clock is, like, technically correct. Natural cast that baby. That's the plan. I don't even know if there are 15 mana-producing lands in this deck, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Because there's no fetches, right? And there's four Valakuts. <laughs> I'm going to go for trophy leader this season, Mord. I'm kidding. Or not. Who knows? Yo, we're the Tron deck now. Casting Eldrazi and shit. L listen, my opponent can concede. Why have they not conceded? I don't understand what they're... What, what, why are you in this game? No, they've seen everything they need to see, right? They've seen everything. Even when I kill them, they're not going to see anything new. So I'm really... No, no, no. I'm just... They want me to show them more, I guess. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm sure Blitz is confused. Breach him again? There's nothing for them to sacrifice. <laughs> Breathe in the snap. That's the play. That's the play. I'm going to spew off a bolt on their end step. But, like, it, it actually is helpful for me to see more of their deck right now because I don't know if they boarded in um, Veil of Summers or anything. So if they start discarding them, <laughs> Breaching Snap would be the power move. I think Breaching Snap and then not attacking with it would be the power move, right? And step through the breach. Snap cancer mage. It has haste now. You see that opponent? You see that? Do you see? Do you see? Oh, now they can see. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. What are you doing? What are you doing? What were you doing? All right. Um. Ah, uh, what if? Am I supposed to do something like this and? A braid for O Stone. I mean, I guess. It, it also kills Worm Coil better than Bolt does. Yeah. They were also kind of screwing me up game one with the, um, um, what's it called? Relic of Progenitus. So, probably just take out the Spell Snare. Pact of Negation is, like, not good at all, but, I mean, it's kind of better than another, like, just one bolt. If I need a double counter. 
in game one there was actually a spot where it's like if I had Pact of Negation it would have would have been good, which seems silly, but I think Pact is actually supposed to be here for like when you need a breach turn, but um, you can't afford to get stopped. Funimal's a six. This hand has no disruption. I don't think I can keep it. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, it's the best one we have. Keep this ship opt and oof. I really want to keep this breach, but I don't think I can. I'll, I'll find one by the time I need it. Or I'll be dead already, either way. Unfortunate. Snap. Oof. No. Yikes. All right. Okay, well, man. I got Reman in the fourth negation. Maybe it'll be good enough. Maybe. Sure. So if I remand that, they don't have a forest, and then what's the most threatening thing I could play? A little Karn? Which would obviously be really frustrating. All right. Karn liberated. Okay. Puts Gigantha in your hand, all right? No threat. All right. If this can get me to... Jeez. Do I want that? I guess I do, because I can go remand, snap, remand, and that it kind of digs me further. Plus remand into force and negation here. Yeah, all right. It's not it's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah, I'm nine mana. Really hoping they don't have the Ulamog next turn, because there ain't nothing I can do about that. Spire Bluff is now a tap land, though, because I played the Temple of Epiphany this turn. Yeah, that's a yikes. Okay, it's no longer a yikes, but I have neither half of the combo right now, so that's a problem. If they just have the Illumog here. I'm in big, big trouble. If they don't, you know, maybe. You're saying there's a chance. 11 mana. No. Okay, good. That looks like Karn. Worm Coil. Mammy! All right.
spring. We draw another snap. Not not the best. Oh my. Okay, that's fine if they don't. Wait, I have the abrade. All right, that's fine. Not thrilled about it, but it's fine. Well, we're halfway there. But are we living on a prayer? That's going to be the real question. I don't have to kill like they don't they don't put lands in their graveyard unless they play Sanctum. And if they do that, they play a something, the Sanctum triggers like an abraden response. So there's there's no need for me to kill this now. You got it. You got it, opponent. You got it. Oh my. All right, now I'll blow up the Crucible just because I guess I have the, the snap to go back. And then if I top deck Emrakul right now, I'm going to be happy I put them on exactly six permanents. All right, come on, baby. Off the top. Big Mama's. Mama's Spaghetti. Reflecting Pool. All right, that's... Very much similar, except in every way that's important. Jeez. Second worm coil. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, I don't even want to abrade it. I needed to hit the Emrakul last turn, and I didn't. And I still haven't. Uh, I might have to snap a braid this turn just to stay in this, but um, then they're just going to have too many permanents so breach mom was already kind of not uh not useful and i think i have to chump here and then i i don't even know how we get there now because it's not like i have a board wipe and i boarded out a bunch of bolts all the bolts so nothing matters anymore. They just drew too many freaking worm coils without like fetching for them. They just they just hit them all perfectly. I mean, I have to snap a braid now, but then they get to keep all their. I don't think anything matters anymore. But I just see if we draw the Emrakul. No. So I can go snap, snap a braid, Archmage's Charm, grab the Death Touch one, block the other Worm Coil. Yeah. And then depending on what they play right after that, we'll, we'll see if we're just dead or not. But. Good 
The type of white you use on your business. What business cards? Do I have a business card? I don't think I have a business card, hands. But if I did, I'd use the only white I know the name of. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, sorry. That, that was not a specific enough reference for me, for my small brain. Oh, but this is Psycho Psycho. This, this shirt is from Psycho Psycho, not American Psycho. This is very, very much a different, different film. I'm, I'm just explaining why I was incredibly confused. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's being the creepy desk jockey at the Bates Motel? So how's that going for you? Good, I hope. So three, four, five, but they're they're gonna play something big here, so I'm just gonna be very dead. Unfortunately, we had such a cool game one, it was so long. Almost got there, but can't beat that. Because they should just plus it and then I'm I'm done. I'm not staying in that game to find out. I really don't care. I I lost. We we just couldn't couldn't hit Emrakul soon enough. It was close, but no cigar. Game to see Fari with a 5-0. Good for him. But neither of the people that I know were testing uh, the clever Lumamancer. So, which doesn't surprise me at all. I think there's probably a lot of people out with Lavender. What is the business card monologue from American Psycho? Here we go. No, it's, this this one's not good. Yeah, the the um the business card scene is a lot of back and forth. It's not a good uh Yeah, yeah, yeah but there's like a lot of Yeah. All right. Uh in the dark the sand is is fine.
I just I gave a creepy read one time, apparently creepily reasonable read of the um, the the sort of famous monologue from American Psycho. Is OP the really real Liliana? I mean, they're Lilia, so no. Also, they led with Valakut, so double no. Crap. I have this spell snare. Maybe, maybe they'll uh, play Explorer. Maybe they'll play Explorer. They are endless, but are they endless? Boom! Get out of here, you nerd! Turns out Valakut was the real Urborg all along. I knew it! I knew it. Uh, opt? Uh, something to do, I guess. Um, no, I'll probably just bottom that. Because next turn I could, in theory, snap Spell Snare, which is not... Probably not going to be good enough, but maybe... This is going to be a pretty tough game. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. Okay. What other twos do they have? Oh, basically nothing. Uh, okay. I can't snap bolt snap yet, but... Just if they had another explorer. I mean, it's just... Um, casting the op doesn't really get me anywhere. So. It could get me one card deeper, I suppose. But I get one card deeper by scrying it to the bottom without having to spend mana. So I think that makes sense. There's a small gain on, like, the fact that you get to choose one extra card. But it looks like they might just have it here, so... This long pause, I think, means they're trying to figure out how to do some terribleness to me. I got the mana for the Titan. Gets you net two cards deeper. Uh, only if you don't want the first card you see. I just, uh, hand didn't work. Keeping a remand on top last game was technically wrong by that. No, 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 it's, it's that JK Torborg, it's that I don't have infinite mana, and I, like, in that situation, the remand was buying me time by remanding, like, a seven mana spell, whereas Opt is costing me mana to dig, and so I, I mean, I, th I think I, I think I was thinking about it correctly, but maybe I wasn't. Okay. Pretty sure we stay on combo here. Playing the anchor guest. Do I want the pact? Kind of. No, I don't think so. Just bring in the aether guest. Oh, and boil. You can bring in boil here. A snapcaster, maybe, and uh, boil is funny. I mean, it's not just funny, it's, it's actually quite good. We only have what one island in our whole deck, yeah, one island. Hi, Jacob. I it turns out when I put people's call signs into the, into the stream title, sometimes they show up. Um, but I, I've seen you online a bunch recently, um, but you, you weren't streaming. Um, but I saw you online fairly frequently, just like you're always like watching Magic streamers, and I didn't want to bother you. But, uh, but just so you know, at least one person still, still remembers you. I know at least another person who does too.
Yeah, man. Your fans will be ready if and when you ever come back, and if you never do, then you've left beautiful, beautiful memories, and uh, you should be proud of the work you did. Younger, the younger brother here will always bother people. I think as an uh, an only child, I um generally like to respect each, the other people's space. Yeah, man, that's that's uh, it's good stuff. I mean, aspiring Spike is not. Uh, exclusive to uh blue red but he, he's played a lot of it very successfully so i know there's great content out there for you to watch by very very high level players sven speeder sven was uh high on this deck yeah i was thinking about it um the rummage seems good, and the treasure could get you to the breach a turn earlier. So I was thinking about it. Maybe I'll do this deck again tomorrow, but with Prismari Command. Um, but the other modes on it... Uh, the Shock is pretty bad right now. I mean, it's fine, but... And I can't even remember the last mode. So I can remand this this turn... And maybe they won't be able to recast it, and then we can Archmage's Charm it next turn. When I untap. Wee! Zug Zug. Oh, they couldn't play it. Oh, blow up an artifact. But but there are um there are uh, amulet vigors floating around, so it's not uh, it's not totally unreasonable. Okay, so if I don't counter this, I can try to steal it. But um, I think I'm letting this resolve, and I want to see what they do with it. Um, they get one trigger no matter what. If they play Dryad, I get to remand it and then steal it. Or, or that. Yeah. I mean, I could hard counter this if I want to, but I think we keep the Archmage's Charm for, the, for later. So tempting to cryptic bounce, but I will not. Uh, I think I'm stealing the amulet and then playing a uh, untapped um, Valakut Stoneforge. Or maybe even not. So stealing the amulet is like kind of tempting. But they haven't, like, they haven't been able to make a lot of land drops thus far, and I feel like going shields down here is not necessarily advantageous. Like, if I had been able to do it before, what lands did they play? Only Grulturf, Valakut, and a Castle Garenbrig. So... The castle doesn't get them to Titan this turn. They have an Azusa in their hand. If they play the Azusa first, I just counter it. If they play the Garen break into Azusa, they have one extra mana, which could be Veil of Summer. I can counter it and back that up with Force, which is obviously not ideal, but... Garen Brig actually gets an untapped trigger off the amulet.
We've got one more turn before we get really dumpstered by Cavern. So converting this cryptic seems nice. Converting in which way? Counter Azusa, bounce Brawl Turf. Sounds really hot to me. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, there, there's also, like, the, the silly line of, like, just let the Azusa resolve, let them start doing stuff, and only if it gets out of hand actually have to do anything. And then we Valak it and just try to dig for combo, but I think that's really reckless. Well, yeah, that, that's that that's the problem with taking their amulet. That's why I didn't do that. So counter this, bounce the Grawl Turf. I'm just hoping they don't have Veil at this point. Um, I mean, I have an out for it. I just, it would just suck. It would just set me back really far. Okay. That's good. Now Archmage's Charm is getting very good. Plus one tap Valakut. Yeah. Yeah, I should have done that. Um, I mentioned it earlier, and then I just slopped this turn. It wouldn't actually help me, but there's no reason not to do it, in that the opponent would be threatened by the two mana, in theory. Uh, we do have Snap Cryptic next turn, though, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would like to find a Boil. Anyone else want to see a boil? I'd like to see a boil. I want to see Billy Joel at least once. Yeah, I guess the thing that would suck the most here is they only played one land. Uh, opponent plays Forest, casts Dryad, plays Girl Turf. I believe you are incorrect. <laughs> not coming at you, friend. I just do not think that is correct. Snap Cryptic on their Girl Turf is, like, appealing. The, the danger is, as always, if they just have um, Cavern. Otherwise, I don't need to do much, but Cavern would be... Oh, no, hold on. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Yeah, 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 Cavern would be fine. We'll get them there. At which point I could... Hmm. 
I just don't know what I'm supposed to do here. There's just uh, too many options. Snap Remand is good. Snap Cryptic is good. Snap Charm is good. I'm just going to try to fade the, uh, try to fade the um, <clears throat> cavern. Bouncing the Grohl turf doesn't doesn't really do it for me. Um, in that, if they have an amulet, they get through no problem. Plus, the Castle Garenberg make that makes that pretty easy too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we didn't have the mana to cast the boil this turn, so I really don't think that that is what I wanted to do there. Snap Cryptic gets messed up by the Veil here. Snap Mage, Dig 2, Valakut, Dig 7 on the untapped. Can we bounce try and end laugh? Yeah, I mean, I... They didn't have the Veil before. I'm assuming they won't have it now. So, all right. Does this buy me more time by bouncing it or drawing a card? I mean, obviously it buys me more time, but like more looks. And I'm not sure. Anyway, <clears throat> we we play on. The builds of Titan I was seeing right now were not playing a uh, Veil, so I'm hoping they don't have it. And there's a pretty good chance they can't redeploy that Dryad. Which means I'm going to draw for turn and then just probably Valakut Awakening four cards away. Try to set up for next turn. Bounces Castle Gerenbrig. Very well. Let's go. All right. I mean, not perfect, but it's certainly not bad. Jacob's more enthused than I am. They have the Garen Brig. If they play Dryad, I'm pretty sure I'm just letting it resolve. Because then I can end step Archmage's Charm, draw two. And then we can Aether Gust it on the next turn. So it's kind of a lot, a lot more mana efficient. I suppose I could just Gust and then Opt. They've played Forest. So they still have the Castle Garen Brig. It's not dangerous. They have one more land drop remaining. If it's Valakut, it's not dangerous. Uh, I think this is fine. I 
letting it be in play is kind of nice too uh, because we've got the um the boils in the deck too I like it when some, uh, I let something resolve and my opponent has a big pause. Like, I wasn't expecting to get this far. I wanted my second spell to resolve, not the first spell. Oh no. I, what? No. It's not fair. There was time now. It's not fair. That's the plan, Hands. They transmute. The point is transmute. Gets cavern. Yipes! All right. Well, luckily, I have a card that doesn't care about cavern. Oops. Come on, Zach. You know how to do that. Let's go. Uh, those are not the cards we needed. <laughs> Okay. 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 So Aether Gust plus uh Valkid Awakening. I guess I didn't need to play the Spire Bluff there at all. Um but this is fine. All right. We're topping a breach, Emmy, next turn. All right, hands. I'll hold you to that. We got the awakening. We can dig. Oh, Jacob, I also thought the, the stream title was funny. Because shoutouts to JC don't normally mean you. Wait, what? Because they still have the IC. Well played, opponent. That's kind of a kick in the teeth. Although I could just go cryptic counter draw, and the next turn I have eight mana. So let's play the Valakut when I untap. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. That is funny. We could let them have the tracker. The problem with the tracker is it gives them clues, and the clues are permanents they can sacrifice to the Emrakul, which at the moment I would prefer they didn't have. And I can still cast the opt. So like mana-wise, this has all worked out fairly well for me. Yeah, that was actually really funny, Mike. That was a great game. It was a good deck. Okay, we just gotta find Boil or Emrakul. So we've got a lot of hits. A lot. That is not one of them. It's still not one of them. Um, yeah.
I guess counting on redrawing a land is probably a bad idea. But I'm about to draw four cards. I'm assuming I can draw a land in those four cards. And if I draw three and one of them's a land, but the next one is the card that I wanted, Snap Gust? I mean, I... They have a Valakut... I guess leaving Snap Gust is probably a good way to play it safe. You don't mind going both the wall here. Snap, Snap Gust gets me the exact same number of cards deeper, but without the risk of missing the land. So let's do that. Hit the land. Didn't hit the Amber Coal. I have another Valakut Awakening for next turn. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that that's the hardest. Those are the hard lines when when both lines can be correct. That's always that's always the hardest choices and it's when it's like, well, both of these could be correct and the percentage chances of either of them being correct is basically interchangeable. Like they're they're so close. Both lines are correct, some lines are more correct than others. Yes, Animal Farm is a fine book. I actually have my copy now. Got it on my storage unit. The three mana left over? Not particularly worried about it. Probably should be, but I'm not. We'll see, hands. I mean, we can verify that. We'll see. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Azusa, bounce land, bounce land, bounce land. Dryad, okay. Uh, not sure that works, JK Torborg, but maybe. Maybe. That's an untapped Temple of Epiphany. But I think we just have to pitch one, two, three, four. This time we're just going all in. No! Ah, uh, no! No! Ah, uh, the worst possible thing! Ah, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm I'm allowed to live. <laughs> All right, well, let's opt into it. Yo, we never needed it. Emrakul was inside us all along. Hi, mom. You showed up just when I needed you. <laughs> what? What's that? You're gonna go to three? Gee, I, I really hope that you can uh, stay in this game. I'm excited for my opponent not to concede. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Mom brings the good times. Where's my soundboard? It's all over, people. We don't have a prayer. Ah! Emrakul is a very enjoyable card, all right? All right? We had to dig goddamn hard to find it. Oh, my opponent's very carefully selecting the permanents they're sacrificing. How kind of them. They know I was low on clock, so...
Just evening the score over there. Are they going to call it rude for me slow rolling the bolt? Bolt to dry head. I was actually thinking about that until I realized it was going to win me the game. Um, to bolt them. I mean, we stayed in that game against the Tron opponent before. So, I mean, I don't... All right, let's get these force negations out, maybe, and just get the other snap in. And then... I kind of want the pact. Let them have their tar-tar sauce. Smithers, don't you understand? For cents worth in tar-tar sauce, we could save hours in labor. I'll take a braid on the draw. I, I'm sure I should have had a braid on the play, but I'll, I'll take a braid on the draw, even though it's maybe not that good. Because being able to take their omelet off the table is very important. Throw the omelet on the floor. Just Now, maybe I should have the forces on the draw for the omelets. I waffle too much sometimes. Don't waffle, kids. Don't waffle. What you should do is have all the reps that you need to make your decisions cleanly. But I don't. I want to keep the ops because they help you get to the help you get to the combo. Definitely want the remands, the aether gust, the snaps. Like these all keep me alive. But I think force on the draw. <laughs> it's um, it, it it's definitely something that has plagued me too, J.K. Torborg. I I want the upgrades, but like. Bolt is, I don't know, I don't think I needed the bolt in that last game to close it out, but um, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, JK Torborg, I also watch Twitch streamers either on my iPad or on my phone, and the autocorrect is such a pain. It's not our fault that video games have so many made-up words. Video games, card games, fantasy and sci-fi properties of all kinds. It's full of made-up words, and so autocorrect is always like, did you mean... I don't know. I can't think of one of the ones that's happened to me recently, but they happen. Bolt's the fail-safe for tracker. Yeah, I didn't keep it, though. <laughs> I think I know what I'm pitching to get rid of that. I think, I think I've got a clear idea. This, this may actually end up being a mistake, so maybe it wasn't that clear of an idea. We'll see. But I'm pretty happy with it. All right. We need to find a land, though. Preferably a land that produces blue and red. Uh, although another pathway works okay. Hell, even just something that produces straight blue would be okay right now. <laughs> That's fantastic, Reed. Well, who who was that? That was that um that English uh singer, the one who got <laughs> all right. Can't find that land. And I can't even cast the abrade I drew. Yikes. Susan. Susan Boyle. And there was the hashtag Susan album cover? Was that right? Yeah, because that becomes Sue's anal bum cover. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 
She was never a songwriter. It's not uh, it's not her fault. Pretty good singer. And there's nothing wrong with being a great singer. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. I think I kept an okay hand there, and we just getting getting punished. I was on the draw. These are the exact two lands that I kept. So you can't win them all. But we can remand that. Oh yeah, I mean we. I'm not out of it. I'm just saying it's very unlikely that we come back. Like their deck is not weak. You know what I mean? Like look, look at that. Like we have to be luckier than that, basically. The the boil would have been insane here, but we don't have time. Yeah, that was the one J.K. Tour work. Oh yeah, we're we're just yeah. All right, so we're at 0-2, but we're definitely uh, just getting hit with the variant stick. We, we had some very, very tight ones against Tron, and that one could have gone much better than it did, and it didn't. I would love to come to some kind of conclusion about how you're actually supposed to board there, but that's fine. I have no problem just losing and moving on for now. We got JC in here. We got a bunch of wonderful channel regulars. 35 viewers with no raid. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm on 714 followers. Just a uh, couple 285 more. Hit the big 1K. <laughs> Are you telling me you didn't, you didn't come with an adult hands? That's, that's no good. Yo, it's a cozy stream. It is. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the Masked Singer, is that what that one is? I, I've never watched any of, of that crap. The only thing that I ever watched from American Idol was the really bad auditions. There's nothing wrong with being a bad singer. And I firmly believe that pretty much anyone with any voice can be a very reasonable singer. Not professional quality not everyone's you know i mean that's that's something where you definitely are affected but everyone can learn to use the instrument they've been provided reasonably well um but for some reason some people just like don't hear very well i mean one of my best friends is just like totally tone deaf knows more about music than i do which is weird considering knows more about like like songs uh and bands I mean, I have a degree in music, so I hope I know more about actual music than he does, but. But he is so tone deaf, it's it's really funny. Can't carry a tune in a bucket. His hand's not great, but Reman helps us dig, Lightning Bolt keeps us in the game, Snapcaster can replay either of them, and we've got enough mana to be getting on with, so. I'm happy. Oh, Mord, sorry. I ignored your thing about your video having views. I'm super, super happy about that. It absolutely should. I mean, and 50 views on that video, I mean, it's not even... I mean, I don't want to criticize, like, it's the first one you put up, but it's, like, it's not even, like, a full anything. So, you know, that's, that's, that's great, dude. You have nowhere to go but up. That's awesome. It's just like a little clip of one match. Yeah. Yeah, also the spending hours and hours in line, JK Torborg. No, uh, Mord's first video doesn't have uh, full frontal. <laughs> my opponent responded to my good luck and have fun with good luck, but I only have fun when I win. RS. I don't know what RS means. Well, 
Well, that's not living. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not going to tell other people how to use the chat, Jacob. I I have had see people have um I've had people have the opinion they're like I don't like it when people use chat because uh, I just don't like to be uh, provoked to respond to them. And I think they've just only been burned by people being jackasses on the internet, which is fair. I mean, the, the vast majority of people use the internet as a place to be a jackass. But um, I, through Moto, I have made wonderful, actual, real connections to people, and that's awesome. Um, and I just wouldn't have it any other way. You need to use chat, otherwise you miss gems like that. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, okay, so... If they play the captain again, pretty sure I'm just letting it resolve. I, I do I do promote my stream in chat sometimes. Uh, I'll, I'm not going to do it to this person, but... I mean, if they, if they really salt off, I'll show it to you guys and... Uh, So, I mean, my other option here... No, I, I don't really have an option. Uh, I mean, I could snap bolt this after it resolves, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to Awakening. And I'm going to pitch everything except for the Snapcaster. No, everything except for the Crypt. I got one of the Crypt. So they can't come on me next turn. I could always bounce their Temple Garden draw card. They didn't play a land this turn, so bouncing the Temple Garden is limited value. They get the Voking Ballista. This is okay. Maybe I just shipped all the lands plus the Valakut. Keep snapping Cryptic. Yeah, I think so. I think that's fine. Respond with the Captain! I can do anything! I'm crazy! Captain protecting their combo is, like, kind of not my favorite, but um, Snap Bolt should be able to deal with it at some point. They could always sack it, too. Keep Snap Cryptic in three lands. Thanks, Hans. I could keep a land, um, but I don't really want to. I, like, I just feel like I'm about to draw five cards, four off the Valakut, plus one more when I go to my draw step, so I really... I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> Use Valakut Awakening as a three mana draw one. Seems like seems like good sense. I I approve of this message. And like we still want to think of like what our end state is. That's why I was thinking I could ship the Snapcaster. Yikes. Not not a great draw. The spell snare might be able to nail the walking blista, but that was <laughs> did not did not feel like that was an upgrade, but we're we're deeper towards a breach in an emerald, and that's what we want to do. Like that one. Okie dokie. It's on you, opponent. What do you got? What do you got? Show me what you got. C -c Come on. Attacking me, you and your cunning strategy of deploying your creatures is actual what? Oh, they have collected company. I think I want to cryptic bounce their temple garden now and draw a card. Yeah, mill, mill would be a really good matchup game one. Because if I find the Breach, basically no matter what they get, they get completely hosed. And this forces them to play the Collected Company now. They could go to Infinite Life, but we can just keep Emrakul Breaching them until they deck. And we're way up on clock, so 
Um, that's a legitimate strategy. It's also it's also fun to just like think for a half second. And go, oh yeah, my deck has an out to infinite life. Really, what is it? Oh, let me tell you, it's 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 a wild one. <laughs> I mean, in theory, we could also just, like, go to hand size and discard an Emrakul every now and then. <laughs> Keep hitting them with mom until they leave, exactly. Well, like, no, until they deck. They will deck. So, like, even e even in a tournament, like, you could just say to the judge, like, I have an out. So they need to play their turns quickly. Otherwise, I'm calling slow play on them. I know what I need to do. I need to manage their permanence, and I can do that. And our deck keeps getting thinner and thinner, which increases the the chance uh, that we hit our combo relatively quickly. Opponents really having a good hard tank about the uh, the um, collected company. I wonder if they're uh, considering um, sacrificing the ranger captain to block me from having a uh, force of negation. I think that's potentially what they're they're tanking on but either way i also like reducing their mana um for for the combo because then it's harder for them to sneak it through so in theory i'll eventually get rid of this ranger captain oh they finally decided mm -hmm. cheers opponent come get some apologize if that was loud I'm just sleep deprived and I'm trying to stay as sharp as I can here. They went with the YOLO. Holy shit. I think I might get upkeep Ranger Captain here. Not gonna lie. I think I think it's possible they're gonna upkeep Ranger Captain me. <laughs> they got an Arbor Elf and they'll get what, the other ballista? Or just more Arbor Elves? I mean the Arbor Elves aren't scary. Like their their mana is pretty choked right now. Their man has choked so bad, it's like Moto having been up for five minutes. They have to discard a hand size? Uh, they did, yeah. Uh, another Cryptic's fine. Their board is kind of frustrating. I guess this turn I may be going like Opt, Snap, um, Bolt. Just to pick one of these guys off. Everything important in my hand has flash right now, and if I draw a um, a breach, I can't. Uh, I, the mana I would use to draw it means that I couldn't cast it. So snap gets hosed. I know, but uh, if they sack a ranger captain to beat my snapcaster bolt, I, I don't care. Vencer y cómo plantar flores no deserto. Something about flowers don't desert. <laughs> Good old JK Torborg. Um, I mean, their mana is pretty bad right now, so that can resolve. Snap, bolt, snap. They try to double ranger captain. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see your, I see your line. I mean, to be honest, I don't, I, I kind of want to play the second Snapcaster anyway so I can group block one of the Ranger Captains. So if they don't sack a Ranger Captain here, there's a good chance I'm going to... Um, I'm going to deploy a second Snap anyway. Just to one for one with the Ranger Captain. Get them down to just one. So do they sack a captain? If they sack a captain, when I play the second snap, I might pick off their Arbor Elf and group block. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Devalue! you. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> uh. 
Ability on the stack. Uh, I have a response. I would like to respond. I would like to respond by removing all your ranger captains. What say you, opponent? I made my bed. Now I have to wiggle. <laughs> no, you've got to wiggle your way out of it. It's what separates man from the from the animals, except for the weasel. Yeah, sorry, you gotta weasel your way out of it. Duh. You've made your bed, now you gotta weasel your way out of it. So it separates us from the animals. Except for the weasel. Alright. I'll take it. I will take that trade. Would you like to play a 1 1 walking ballista while I'm tapped? I bet they do. Yeah, that's fine. Not a particularly fast way to win the game here. Let's draw land, because then the opt would be more likely to hit me the uh, the breach. Yeah, I'll take that. Play that. I don't need any more lands, but so is unlikely to. Yeah, I'll take a snap here. Because we're probably casting Cryptic this turn, and then probably... Yeah, I know JK Torborg, but I mean, the way the everything shook out, it just wasn't reasonable for me to keep it. So, here we are. Sproing. So they hit me for three here, but since they've hit me for zero so far, I'm very much okay with this. Yeah, I heard about that, Mord. I would have thought that it did, but it does not. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I saw that in a tweet. The upshot of the tweet was like, magic is an intuitive game. Um, which. So I can go Archmage's Charm, draw two, plus Valakut Awakening, which is like, gotta be close to 100% to hit combo. So. Yeah, but it, it doesn't. I don't. Like, it, I mean, lifelink's an ability, right? Right? Like, is someone l really going to tell me, oh, no, lifelink's not an ability? Like, are you serious? Yeah, I, I don't, like, I <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, the more the more mana they spend this turn, the happier I am. Or a champion. Um, they can still have uh, collected company. They're getting a lot of permanents in play, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, maybe I can find another bolt to tidy up before I breach. I would really like to be able to counter the... I would really like to counter the collected company they have coming here. I guess they could just be holding the mana crank the ballista, in which case what I'm doing is clearly a mistake. So let's let's not compound our errors here. I think I'm keeping snap, but that's snap and Emrakul. Shoot. Okay, they had the collected company. Let's not die at instant speed, please. I would be really annoyed if that's how this game ends. Because I've gone a lot of cards through my deck. And
They can't give the Ballista lifelink, but they can go to infinite life. I don't think keeping the Snapcaster matters anymore. If they keep Ballista plus Heliod plus two lands, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have to find Bolt plus the Breach. No, no, the infinite life is not not the end of our our run. We can beat the infinite life. She, of course, it's there. Steel ballista, they just kill it in a second in response. I mean, I I have the breach. The problem is they can sack around it and just beat me afterwards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they just give the Ballista lifelink. So I have to do something that isn't breaching this turn, which just, that sucks. I have to kill the Ballista. So, yeah. I guess I charm it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what we're doing. It just sucks not to be able to finish it here. But it's fine. All I needed to do was find a bolt there, and I just couldn't do it. Man, my... Yeah. Ugh. No, they, they do. They keep Heliod, Ballista, and two lands. They sack one, two, three, four, five, six. So they have exactly enough. No, they don't have to rip a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Heliod. They, they have enough. <clears throat> I think they have another Ballista in their hand, though. Oh, sh sure, 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 sure. Okay, so I guess I wanted to draw the Archmage's Charm. Yeah, you're, you're right, Tartan's Craft Man. They're pumping the Ballista? That's a weird choice. Maybe they don't know what I'm going to do with the Charm. Yoink. Yoink! Where is it? Yoink! I think I think they had their other ballista in their hand, and I think they've had it for a while, because that when they went with the ranger captains, they only got one ballista, then they got arbor elf, and they usually play two. I I want to do that hunter hunter. I wanted to do that all game, and unfortunately they've just had the exact draw they needed. They had the collected company for double ranger captain earlier. You know, they've, they've, you know, they've, they've hit what they needed. So. And it's really easy for them to sort of put cheap permanents that they don't care about on the battlefield. That's, that's so frustrating. The just two collected companies wrecked me. Just totally. Like, that one was for Spike Feeder Helia. Like, are you kidding me? And the first one was Double Ranger Captain. That's gross. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Is Aethergust even worth having here? I don't know that it is. A, a braid might just be better. Yeah, it, it does. So, JK Torborg, the, the text on flashback just says, when this spell resolves, if it was going to go anywhere but exile, send it to exile. That's that's what flashback does. So um, 
But interestingly, there are other cards that are not flashback, um, like Jace Wren's Prodigy's Downtick does not give the card flashback. It just says you could play it until end of turn, and if it would go to a graveyard, um, exile it. But that that's not the same as what flashback says. So if um, if they yeah hands hands pretty good. Um, if they remand a card that's been played off of Jace Friend's Prodigy, uh, it actually does go back to your hand because it never went to the graveyard. It was supposed to, but it didn't. And then the game's just like, well, I only had a replacement effect in line for if it went to the graveyard. I don't have a replacement effect for it going to your hand, so that's fine. Whereas Flashback specifically says if it goes anywhere except for Exile, put it in Exile. I th yeah, I think Magic's very fun. And I think the rules of Magic are fun, but I became a judge, so, you know, I'm that kind of person. I'm just annoyed that last game they, they managed to put together the infinite life combo, or the infinite um, damage combo, because I was really excited to play through the infinite life and end up crushing them on clock and having them eventually concede, but we just we just couldn't find it earlier. Maybe this game. This hand's looking pretty damn smooth. We've got five lands. We've got the Emrakul. We've got a temple to dig. We've got an opt to dig. It's looking really good on the play. So they could have Veil here. I still get to draw cards, so... And then they won't have it for the next thing I play, so... Okay. They didn't play an Arbor Alpha 1. I'm assuming they don't have one? No, they didn't. Okay. okay. So I very much would like to play Opt into Valakut Awakening here. There's very few things that will stop me from doing that. If I have to cryptic, I'm not upset. But if you somehow cast an adventure with flashback, would it get around the same way? It would try to go on adventure again, and flashback wouldn't have anything to replace. It's going to exile. Uh, yeah, I, I I believe that is actually the case. So, for example, um, um, the Grixis card, the 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 good one. Um, Kess. Kess. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe with that card, you can cast an adventure from your graveyard. It goes into exile and is then castable. Uh, Obzet Ad and Gorio's Vengeance works the same way. So we'll opt. Put this opt on the bottom. I, I think I have to let them, if, if they have a collected company, I just have to let them have it. And um, if they rip the hotness again, I'm screwed. And, and uh, hopefully they don't. Yep. God. I, I, mm. <sighs> this card is super frustrating. Hopefully they just flat out hit infinite life and then we hit the breach. Okay, that's fine. I think the chance of not hitting a land in five draws is pretty low. Sorry, six draws. So I hit a tap land and no breach. Brutal. All right. Well, I've got a remand and a bolt, so. Jeez. Oh, man. Sometimes. Uh-huh. 
Just, just, just keep drawing permanents that you can put into play. Just infinite numbers of lands. I have no problem with that. Cough, 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 cough. Yeah. They've got another one? No, come on, man. This is getting ridiculous. It's a fairly tempo negative play. Uh, that's not exactly how it works, Hunter Hunter. Um, but you shouldn't be able to retrace. Um, you shouldn't be able to retrace adventure cards from your graveyard. Retrace specifically should not work. They only have three mana up now. All right, uh, I'll remand that. Oh no, I can play the Valakut. Uh, this resolves. Yeah, M Moto probably let it happen, but it, it I don't think it should. Oh, they can go to infinite life here. Uh, I guess. And then they make their Oriac Champion an infinite, infinite creature, right? Is that how this works? No. No, it's not how this works. They just go to infinite here. I guess I don't really have a reason to let this resolve other than really, really being greedy about this Balakid Awakening. Right, but it, in your graveyard, they shouldn't have Retrace, is the point, JK Torborg. In your graveyard, it shouldn't have Retrace, and when you put it on the stack, it shouldn't be able to see that it had Retrace in the graveyard. It, it shouldn't have the retraceability from the Ren Emblem while it's in the graveyard. That's the problem with uh, that. I think I'm letting this resolve. I, just, I have to hit a, hit a breach this time, right? There's, there's no freaking way. Yeah, exactly. In the graveyard, it's specifically not an instant or sorcery. And so it shouldn't be able to gain the retrace ability, but somehow it does. All right, I'm just going all in here. I mean, there we go. So they could keep. Spike Feeder, Heliod. Whatever they keep, I'll be able to play through it in theory as long as I don't just die. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully this is win. Yeah, so Cast is different. Cast does let you do it. Cast lets you do it because what happens is Cast gives you basically the player an extra permission. And um, when you go to cast the adventure, when it's on the stack, the game rules ask you, do you have permission to play this card from where you played it? And Cast says, yeah, we do that one, one time this turn. I'm allowed to cast this instant or sorcery from the graveyard, as I've done. So... Basically, the, the steps to casting a spell are what get you there. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm not... Uh, I'm just saying I'm fairly confident in the way that I believe that it works. Is you put a spell on the stack and there's a check that says, is this card here legally? Um, and that check is qualified by Kess. And the fact that it was a creature on the front doesn't matter. So they're sacking three, four mana sources and a spike feeder. 
They did not go to infinite life. Not. I'm assuming this means they have the the kill when they untap, although I'm not sure how. Just give him one of these. Thanks for the ball there, uh, oh. Gemini 44S. Hey, got him. Yeah, we lose the graveyard there, unfortunately. I'll be back in a half second. <laughs> Uh, dropping babies. What can I do to improve? Uh, what do you want to improve at, dropping babies? Oh, hey man, I'm a big fan of your content. I've been new to MTGO and been absolutely sucking with expert control, losing 80 to 90 percent of games. What can I do to improve? Yeah, uh, timing, patience, knowing the meta. Um, yeah, the, I mean the hardest thing. Yeah, the hardest thing about playing control in modern is, um. Well, some people would say Jund is a control deck a lot of the time with like a very mid mid range bent, but uh, but it's not just patience because patience implies that you know how to prioritize things, and that's the hardest thing about playing control in modern, generally speaking. Opponent multi to six. I'll keep this with the multi six. Um, the hardest thing about playing control in modern is that the other decks are brutal and fast most of the time, and you have to diffuse their early turns and then play a very very careful game from that point um and what that actually boils down to is just a lot of intimate knowledge about every deck in the metagame as much as you can have it um and and that's very difficult additionally um a lot of the time the control decks have very slow or vulnerable ways that they actually want to try to win and that can be really tricky so um if you're new to any format my recommendation is always to play a deck that is more linear than you might otherwise do um And by linear, I mean with a more um, straight line to winning games. Yeah, I know, Terror. Pl Planeswalkers have really changed control uh, more than anything else. Oh, okay. Uh, it's also, yeah, the competition level online is just totally... It's just totally in a different league. Um, it's insane. Uh, I, I was... I mean, I, I've I've been crushed frequently. Okay, I think I'm just bolting this guy. Just absorb as much as you can, dropping babies. Go watch Aspiring Spike when he when he streams in the mornings. Uh, you can watch me when I play in the evening. I, I'm I'm really not. I don't consider myself to be that good, but if you 
are happy with my content that well I'm going to be here providing it so I meant to kill that yeah I started talking and I meant to kill that and now I have to wait but that's okay probably it's probably okay probably maybe since arena started the competition on mtgo went up a lot uh i mean i don't know if it went up a lot but it definitely went up it's not just about time there's a specific way that you have to put in your effort if you really want to improve you can make that happen more quickly but it is not always clear how to do that. I mean, one of the most difficult things about Magic in general is just that, like... Uh, th there is actually replay review. Um, you can do that. The, the, the biggest problem is that it's not clear how you lost a lot of the time. Sometimes you lose in a way that you don't understand because you don't understand it. It's, it's the sort of Einstein idea that you can't solve problems that were found at a certain level of understanding because they were found at a certain level of understanding that couldn't solve for them. <laughs> she didn't like your response. I mean, that's... Some people are just not ready to hear that. I mean, if you had played a MOBA for a year, you wouldn't expect to be on top of it, right? And you could be if you were playing all the time, but one of the things you need to do is find people who already know what they're doing. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... That's the format a lot of the time, dropping babies. I mean, look at me right here. I have to make some kind of move. And... De like, depending on what they flip into, they could just kill me, right? Um, I think it's wrong for me not to do anything here. And I just have to, you know, let let it let it come. Whatever, whatever's going to happen here, I mean, I can't just wait forever. You think the play was drawing to if we die, we die? I, I think the play was to make some kind of play, and you're... Probably right, Mord. You're probably right. Maybe I just got burned by the previous game where I was just like literally never allowed to find my combo. Uh, I want to believe that this one time they kept their mana up so they could crank the Ballista and draw a card. Yeah. Looks like they didn't immediately have the Coco. Looks like. But they could have just drawn it. I'm really hoping that this one time they didn't just have the Collected Company. It looks like it because they're activating the Ballista. Well, if they don't have the company, it doesn't make any sense for them to do that. Or sorry, if they have the company, they, they would have cast it. So I think they were just bluffing and their hand's actually not that good. But that's one of those that's one of those moments. I could have just lost the game right there. And I, I did not. I got lucky. And uh, hopefully we're in a pretty good spot from here. Yeah, you, you can get really strong, but um, maybe they just have a ton of veils. It's possible. Uh, you can get very, very good at historic and standard in a, in a year. That's true. But you do need to be exposing yourself to people who already know what they're doing. You, you are definitely an above average player for that long mord, but you've chosen the right places to spend your time. Like, I, I don't have any other words. I don't have any other words to describe what you've, what you've done. Like, you've just... You, whatever you did, you spent your time wisely. Or you just came in with a good baseline head on your shoulders to understand what magic is. I don't know what it is, but but you're you know, you're doing great. No, no counter on Heliod due to the um potential of the veil and the fact that I'm probably I'm digging as hard as I can to Emrakul right here. So unlike a lot of other decks, we this we have a very proactive thing to do. To try to win the game, which is put together Emrakul and Through the Breach. Um, which is a play they largely have no out to. Yeah, Taxes is, is a very um, is a very good uh, sort of 
what I want to say, like, um, you, you get a lot of chops by playing taxes. Because it's a lot of micro decisions that make and break your games. Your, your margin for error and your margin for victory are, are tiny. So it's... Okay, halfway there. Uh, do I need six mana? If I want to play Gust, Bolt, and Charm, I do. All right. Permanent count is seven on their side. <laughs> I got you, Ward. I got you. Take my hand. We'll make it out swift. Oh, lay on a prayer. All right, resolves. Tommy's got a six three in hack. Now he's losing in when he used to make it talk so tough. Wow, 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 Decide where they want the plus one, plus one counter to go first. Going to backfire in so many ways. I mean, we'll see. They're probably putting... Yeah, that's fine. So. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. You know you want it. You know you want... Uh, yeah. Come on. We got one more. We got one more go. We got six mana in play. All right. I'm just going to hold on to these in case. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to hold on to the case of another Valakut Awakening, but I actually should have played one more land because I need eight for Awakening plus um, Breach. But it looks like they're going to combat, so dodging death for one turn. That's a good draw. So we can reset a Coco here. I think that's most likely. Don't do it, Terror. It's not worth it. DNT's been doing okay. So much effort, so little payout. Yeah. Yeah, we can gust it though, even if they have Veil. Veil doesn't stop Aether Gust. Friends don't let friends play D and T. Always remember when Blitz had your back. Put it on top. No surprise. Now I feel pretty pressured to try to counter this, but I mean, they've had infinite time to draw veils. This will not kill me, so let's let it go. Somehow they find a way to kill me with it. Or maybe it whiffs for once, that'd be great. Jeez. Oh my god. Brutal. What am I getting hit for? 6, 7, 8, 9, 11? Jesus. 
Yeah. Oh, they're not putting it on the Auric Champion. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I suppose... I mean, this is really, really poor no matter what, right? Still no breach. Goodness gracious. Just no, nothing coming easy today. But at least they've telegraphed that they're not planning on sacking Ranger Captain on my upkeep. So maybe we can pull out of this. It's like one, it's a long shot, but. They they put the counters on it and then they sacked it. I don't I don't understand that. Um, I don't have a cryptic command in my graveyard, so I can't snip cryptic. Um, and if I valakut awakening, I can't. Um, if I valakut awakening, I can't uh, cast the breach right now. Yeah, that's fine. Snap can currently block and kill Oriok Champion. I need I have Aether Gust for the Conclave Mentor. Which will not get through a veil, but that's fine. So Snap's gonna do some work here, hopefully. They're also getting a little tight on clock. They might make some mistakes here. Ballista. Which gets bigger when it comes into play. Maybe I have to go snap counter. If they have the veil there, I lose to that. Yeah. Oh, and playing the snap, they gain life and they grow their creatures. You think we remand? I think we remand too. Yeah, it sucks. I need to draw bolt or braid or something. But if they finally have the veil, I... I'm not going to be in good shape. Yeah, this matchup is so freaking hard now. Yeah, I know we can snap charm. It's just, yeah, but if the, their creatures are going to get huge, guys. Like, you don't understand. I, I'm at eight. <laughs> their creatures are just going to kill me now. It, it. I mean, yes, technically... This is going to keep me in this, but I need to worry about the fact that I'm about to die later this turn. Yeah, I, I know we have to chum and pray. I'm just saying it sucks. I... Yeah. Make them time out while tapping. I mean, it's not likely. So I'm assuming they're going to split up the counters. Just put the two on Oriac Champion. Yeah. And now I can't kill it, which I was really hoping to do. Wait, but they, they just replay the... Uh, I should have I gone over. We countered Veil and Uplist. I wasn't thinking because I wanted to draw the card. And if I counter... Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I counter that, I didn't... It's fine. We're, we're basically done there anyway. They, they had the nuts... Like, not, they didn't have a fat, well, no, actually, mostly that game's problem was we could never find the breach. And we still weren't going to find it. Holy crap. Yeah. No, I, I know, but, like, eh, the, the mistake is, the, the mistake was not the problem in that game. Yeah, it was a mistake. Yes, it killed me, although I was going to die next turn anyway with no, I had no out, so... Like, even if I Ember cooled them there, we were still going to die. Because they could just take the hit, sack their lands, and kill me on the, at back, the attack back. Yeah, we did everything we could. It's, it's just, this has just been a frustrating league in that every single match has been a 1 2.
And I died to the teamer version of this deck when I was in the um the last super qualifier, which is like doubly tilting. Uh yeah, I, I know dropping babies, but it's it, it's just like oh man, how is it every game we we can't find breach? And it's always breach. It seems to be breach is the it is the piece that's impossible to find. We always find emeralds, no problem, but we can't find breaches to save our life. Just we are just totally pantsless. No pants. Fish out of water with a sweet Yadaro. It's a great hand because it's an easy mulligan. Okay, okay. We found the breach. We did. Just ship the force negation here. Opponent also multi six. But this deck does bring me back to the sort of general feeling that I have about these kind of decks where, like, while this deck has a lot of power and that makes it feel difficult for the opponent, um, I usually prefer to play control decks that don't play two card combos like this because your, your just general card quality tends to be a lot higher and you don't have to play as much air. So playing the Stoneforge this turn is kind of crappy compared to Reflecting Pool in that I can't play Archmage's Charm on the next turn, but I um, don't have a third blue source anyway. And I think we're going to have to get to this Breach, but if this is blue-red prowess, it looks like it is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get there. i got to draw a lightning bolt or a blue source now. Well, that'll keep me in this. All right, opponent. No gut shots, no mutagenic growths, please. Whew. All right, we might get there. We might be in this. Streamer luck right there. Uh, we were due. I mean... <laughs> But I'm going to die on turn three with a single prowess creature instead of dying on turn three to two prowess creatures. So don't don't worry about it. You'll see. The worm will turn. Found Lavender Wooded Foothills? Okay. Maybe not going to die, but there's a good chance we're on virtual death. Yeah, I, I, I have noticed that. I mean, it's... Oof. So they drew the mutagenic growth. <laughs> if your worm is turning, consult your doctor. I mean, that sucks, but uh if I draw a land next turn, maybe we maybe we get it. Maybe we make it. Untap land specifically, because there are Four, five, six, seven, seven tap lines in the deck right now. Is light up stage? No, it's not light up stage. I don't know what they're playing here. They play Lavadar with the mana floating. All their mana floating. I I I have no. I mean, sure. Uh, yeah, there's a Cascade Bluffs in here. I think there's two or three. Negating it saves me one damage. The way they tap there, I, I'm i not sure what their plan is, but it, saving one damage is like, um, if they had a bolt in their hand, I would die to it, right? If they have a bolt in their hand now, I don't die to it. Um It basically doesn't matter what I do with this right now. 
Um, cause I'm going to take three, um, plus that one, but we'll, we'll, we'll counter this. Not, no, that wait, no, no, no. Cause if they, if, if we Emrakul them and they're still alive and they top deck land into, yeah, no, no, no. But, but it does matter blitz because if they immediately start peeling lands, um, like, assuming we do get through the next turn, if they start peeling lands into Bolt, then then we could die. Nope. Just no luck. Absolutely no luck. <laughs> I had a little bit of luck when the when the Stormwing died, but Jesus. Ugh. Brutal. <laughs> Can't seem to get anything going tonight. All right, so I think this has got to be the matchup where Madcap and Platinum come in for these guys. Let me bring in a Brade and maybe Aethercus. Yeah. Spell Snare is okay. Reman's not so great. Force is not so great. Oh, Mystical is Beats okay, though. Um, bring back a Reman. Sure. So it, it just it could have mattered Blitz in 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 the case that if I Emrakuled them there they were still alive at one but if they drew literally land into Bolt and I was at three then I would have needed the Force of Negation in theory. Assuming that I hadn't killed them by that point but I mean the way that game was going I don't think we were going to so I oh I actually have one of the Imperians in my hand I don't want this. But that's uh, we have the Valakut Awakening, so Spire Bluff. No, I think I'd rather not. This is a pretty straightforward game from our side. Hopefully it works out. No turn one play. Okay. I drew a bolt, so let's scry and cryptic. Comfortable to bottom that at this point. Because they're probably going to have spell pierces and mystical disputes out of their sideboard. So I don't really think that uh, cryptic commands where I want to be. I think all the red cards are what we want to play. Just nothing nothing but red. So I could take one from this. Hopefully get it with the brain. That's a really good draw. I guess this means that I can't Valakut Awakening plus something else this turn. But if I have to go a Braid plus Bolt this turn, then I will. So, let's see. Sure. Let's kill that. I said, die. Yeah, I know, Blitz, but I mean... Like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't, I can't have everything. Uh, I can Valakut Awakening away my entire hand and try to draw a Bolt plus Red Source. 
think. Play the bluffs. Just lamenting. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you, buddy. All right. Tonight has been the the. Seriously. There's still. I mean, I just put one on the bottom. So I mean, but jeez, Louise. <laughs> I know they're going to have all their mana on tap, so if they have another spell pierce, we're going to get beat up. But, <laughs> say la vie, I guess. No, they've got another one? Alright, well. Without Soul Scar Mage, it's pretty difficult for them to kill a Platinum Empyrean. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see, buddy. I am not so sure. I'm not so sure. Oh, there isn't another one. They're bolting me. Okay, I, I like the sound of that. Now they're going to play light up the stage, though. Lavender. Oh, okay. I, I do believe in the heart of the cards. I just believe in my opponent's heart of the cards much more than mine. Did not attack. Whoops. Well, they, they have Soul Scar Mage in their deck. They just didn't have one there. Yeah, opponent is un unhappy with the, the turn of events. Jeez. I mean, at least I have a second one in case they have uh, Spell Pierce. So Dispute doesn't, doesn't do it here, but Spell Pierce sure does. Got him. They they, they they meant to attack. They're, they're cursing in chat. They're not happy about it. But we got there. The other Empyrean is in my hand, and I put one of my Valakut Awakenings on the bottom. So there's two more that are relatively drawable. Uh, okay. I, I can't catch a break tonight. I can't. I just... I can't. My, my, this, this is the exact same problem we've been having all night. Just the wrong... Wrong cards. I, I, <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, it's tough. This this is this is what happens to me with Blue Moon every time. I want to love it, but it's it's so brutal. It's never never kind to me. I mean, if I survive another turn, yeah. So each spell has plus two damage, and I'm at virtual five. So Bolt alone kills me. Oh, they have two Labadarts in their graveyard anyway. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I don't agree with that statement, Brian Gallion. All right, I believe I'm going to be done for tonight. Uh, we won a total of one match. Um, you would try a blue-red deck with mildly better mana. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the mana base in this deck. At all. Um, so... I don't think I made a lot of bad plays, Blitz, at all. Um, the sideboarding is definitely kind of tricky. And the specific configuration here probably speaks to the, the way they want their sideboard to be used. Um, which I do not know. But I would say, by and large, I did not make any big mistakes while I was playing. Um,
Yeah, um, so I think, generally speaking, I'm happier with, like, the Brazen Borrower um, Bone Crusher Giant kind of Blue Moon decks, although they just haven't been doing very well recently than the... Um, yeah, my, my mistake was just not drawing better for the most part. Um, I like this deck a lot. Unfortunately, I uh, just found no success with it tonight. So, <laughs> that's how it is sometimes. Uh, I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow after I try to get some sleep before the drilling and hammering start in the morning. Um, so, I hope to see all or any or many of y'all tomorrow for more Magic the Gathering stuff. Um, Decklist was fine, just couldn't draw it out, uh, but that's fine. Hopefully some good gameplay was had and watched. Um, so if you are in the future watching this on the YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. Check out any other videos you're interested in, and uh, come follow me on Twitch. I'm going live from 8 to late most evenings of the week. Um, for everyone who's live with me, uh, look for somebody to raid. I have no idea who's on right now, but uh, maybe I'll try playing some new cards tomorrow, but I don't... Uh, I don't know which ones, because this set has just not been exciting for me. I gotta go look, because a lot of streamers are very large, and I'm looking for someone smaller. Enjoy Freak You Nasty playing Green Trod. I'll see you guys over there.